the following demonstrations are lethal, and one mistake could result in instant death or serious injury, so please do not attempt this at home, unless you're absolutely without question, know what the hell you are doing, and please make sure that safety precautions are in place. Otherwise there will be no more curry or wine for you, ever. Hi guys, um, just before we get started zapping stuff, um, I thought I'd just put this up for your information. Um, it's a schematic drawing of the two microwave oven transformers I've got, which I'm using today. Um, as you can see, I've wired them both together in parallel, and I've just simply taken a centre tap off the HV line for the positive, if you like, and the um, tap off of the ground link for the negative works very well um, just be aware that the um, mains in to the primary have got to be that way round because uh, if you have the positive and negative on the transformer next to it the other way round you get a magnetic flux interference and one of them gets quite hot so if you wire it up as it is that shouldn't be a problem um, also um, I'm not showing there my capacitor bank but when we get into the film I run through all of that anyway anyway I hope you enjoy it and don't forget please 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 if you're gonna mess around with this sort of stuff play safe okay right hi guys Colin Polter here and welcome once again to my YouTube channel uh, today I'm playing around with uh, microwave oven transformers uh, and high voltage microwave oven capacitors and we're going to do something different today we're going to zap things um, but first of all let me just show you very quickly my setup um, very quickly over here I've got a microwave oven fan okay and that's blowing across my first microwave oven transformer which uh, has got an input on the primary of 240 volts and the secondary is 2100 volts output high voltage at about uh, 1.5 amps and this is my other older microwave oven transformer again 240 volts AC in on the primary and 2100 at 1.5 amps on the secondary uh, now what I've done I've just wired them up in parallel so the um, high voltage comes out of one and is connected straight to the other. So the two HVs are connected together and also the grounds of the transformers are hooked together. And all I've done is I've taken a centre tap off of the ground wire which comes along and is clipped onto my zapping tray which is basically a baking tray, but it's good for zapping uh, and there's a crocodile clip uh, connecting that. I've only used uh, light mains cable because there's, although there's a lot of voltage, there's no amp, so it's not going to jump across or burn the cable out or anything. And um, my high voltage line, I've got a centre tap on that and that's going into my uh, capacitor bank. Um, so I'm going into the first capacitor, out to the second, sorry, into the second, out from the second into the third, and then the energy is going across, um, and then the uh, the three are looped together, and I'm taking a, a centre tap off of um, the centre of the second one, and that is my high voltage line, and that's going up to my chicken stick here, and I've got a simple crocodile clip and I've got a steel nail on the end. Um, I've used wood because dry wood is a brilliant insulator um, and you've got to have what 20,000 volts plus to actually start to feel anything off of that stick. Um, what else? I've just got a simple meter to just make a visual check that the voltage is off because it's not the sort of thing you want to play around with and forget and leave on. Um, I've got a couple of microwave oven magnetrons which in another video I'm going to have them firing electron beams at each other and then put some stuff in the middle to zap yeah uh, cool right so what we're doing today well first of all bit of safety I've got an industry standard British 5750 hard hat 
just in case something we zap blows up and I get hit on the head. I'm using again British standard clear safety goggles and also because the arc gives off quite a strong UV I'm using again industry standard UV protective safety sunglasses so I'll be using those as well. What are we going to blow up today then? <laughs> well, <laughs> well we've got Apple! We're going to try see what happens we put 4200 volts AC at 3 amps for an apple we've got an orange so we're going to try that um, got a small light bulb let's see what happens when we put 4200 through that um, we've got a bit of a tin here going to zap that and put some chemicals and powders in there uh, got a piece of aluminium and we have a pencil we're going to zap that piece of solder see what that goes like uh, some water in here and a wet sponge also we're going to zap a beer top lid see what that goes like and also we're going to zap destroy an Audigi 2 sound blast Audigi 2 sound card I've got a few of these so we're going to stick that in the tray and then zap a few of these capacitors and things and see what happens with that so there you go so that's my transformer and capacitor bank. Uh, yeah, I probably won't turn the cooling fan on just yet. I'll wait until um, they start getting warm because um, you get some really nice crackles off of this thing, and um, I don't really want the sa uh, pleh, sound of the fan to interrupt us. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to mount the camera on the tripod, and uh, oh. Then we're going to try a fluorescent tube, stick 4,200 volts through that, see what that does. All right, I'm going to shut up, set the camera, and let's do some zapping. Yeah! Right, hi guys. Right, I've got my dark UV industry standard safety sunglasses on, and I've got my clear industry standard uh, protective clear lenses on. I've got my yard hat on, and I've got my lab coat on, all for my protection. Uh, I've got a fire extinguisher down here. I've got a CO2 and a foam one. Not that we're going to have fire, but, you know, just to be careful. So, let's do some zapping. <laughs> yeah! Right, here we go then. Let's fire the system up and see what sort of arcs we get first of all. Oh yeah. Lovely. Right. So, what should we try first? I know. An apple. Stick an apple on the tray. Right. Right, this is 4,200 volts at 3 amps into an apple. Ooh. <laughs> How cool is that? Make sure the capacitors are discharged. Wow. That certainly did give that a bit of a run for its money. That's getting hot under there. So I think what we'll do is we'll cut the bottom of the apple off so that we get good conductivity. All right, let's try that. So apple again. Well, that's better. <laughs> you can see the tip of that is actually glowing red. Right, just turn it off. Have a look at the apple. Mmm, smells cooked. There we are, 4,200 volts in an apple. Right. Next up is an orange. I think we'll do the same thing. We'll, uh, we'll cut the end of it off 
to make sure we've got good connectivity. Like so. There we go. 4,200 volts on an orange. There you are. Cooked orange. Mmm. Oh, lovely. Right. Next up is the beer top. It's got like a plastic insert in there, so we'll see what happens with that. Here we go. Well, the plastic's insulating it because it's only a few amps, so we're going side. How cool is that? If anybody gets any ideas for things they want me to zap, you know, like don't suggest things like rats and cats and all the rest of it. But uh, sensible ideas, you know, materials we can put high voltage through, and see what happens. Well, surprisingly, that's not very hot and it's melted the edge of the metal. But other than that, cool. Right. <laughs> we can all guess what's going to happen to this, can't we? A light bulb. 12 volt, 55 watt. Let's give it a go. Right, we're now live. Well, the filament didn't last very long. Discharge the capacitors. A bit, of, a bit of burning there, but nothing to write home about. Okay, cool. What next? Pencil. See what happens to pencil. What I think I'll do is uh, actually put the conductor wire right on the lead. Right, here we go. Yep, that pencil won't be led anywhere again. <laughs> I'll stick that in the water. That's it. All right, cool. That looks quite good, mate. Right, piece of solder now. What do I make it into a um, a long bit? I don't think this is going to last long at all, actually. Power system. Yeah, transformers are nice and cool. Here we go, bit of solder. Oh, that was cool. I like that. Excellent, eh? Okay, that was a piece of solder. Um, let's. Shall we do this now or shall we uh, save it to last? Oh, that's difficult. Might save up until last. So, what we'll do next? 
we'll do this, uh, let me see that, do this fluorescent tube. So I need to uh, connect the ground to the back and then um, put that up. I don't know if the camera can see that. Camera see that? Yeah, camera can see that. Right, well, I might turn the lights out for this one actually. Um, so that main light's out. That was that. And I might turn this light off. There we go. There's a bit more light there, but we can live with that. Right then. Fluorescent tube. How cool is that? Excellent. That's getting really hot. I don't want to melt it. That was cool. I thought the fluorescent tube might have actually blown up, but it didn't, which is a good thing. I've got the fan on yet, transformers are still cool. The light's back on. There we go. It's warm. But, uh, yeah. A bit burnt on the end, but that worked quite well. It's quite good, pleased with that. Um, got tin. That's the tin. What should I stick in this? Um, I don't know, uh, some um, something. Not sure what yet, but stick something in there. Um, oh! I just trod on that soggy apple and I've got a soggy apple sock. SAS! Soggy apple sock. Right, what have we got in here? That might be worth zapping. Hmm. How about crushed? Crushed match heads. I'll stick that in there, that should be quite good. Something I prepared earlier. Over there, right away. Right, crushed match heads. Here we go. Ready? Well, that was cool. <laughs> That's the uh, tin melting there. save the water one and the sponge for last because I should imagine that's going to be pretty messy. I think what we'll do, we'll do the old Audi G2 sound card. <laughs> it's got lots of nice capacitors and chips and resistors and stuff on there which I'm sure will appreciate 4200 volts going through. But uh, hey ho, Grounded. Right then. Oh, let's have a go at this. Let's check the taps. Right, they're getting a bit warm now, so I'm going to put the fan on. Here we go. Let's see what happens now. Whoa! Oh, yeah! <laughs> um, Turn the fan off so you can hear that. I'm just touching the top of the capacitors and they don't like it. Uh, Quite a funny colour.
Let's carry on. I think that's uh, well and truly dead. Back don't look too bad. But the front is definitely had it. Actually, you could lay it down on its front and see what we get. Make sure it's grounded. Right, here we go. Well and truly shot. It's quite warm, yeah. Cool. Let's put that over there. Right, um, now let's try the wet sponge. It's quite wet. This is just normal tap water in um, one of those uh, scoury sponge things. So I'm going to stick that there, move that to one side. Now get my towel which is behind the camera, just dry my hands. Right, 4200 volts versus, versus wet sponge. Look at that. It's like lightning going through the middle of it. Just um, squidge that back into there. It's quite hot actually. And then we're going to see what 4200 volts does with water. Just dry my hands again. Okay, here we go. Oh, I know why, because I haven't got the earth in the. <laughs> helps if we put the earth lead in the mixture. Right, now let's try. Oh yeah. I can actually feel that through the stick. Cool, I like that, it's quite good. 
Dry off the clip. Attach it back to our ground. Right, move that out of the way. And I suppose what I better do is just uh, actually it won't hurt that water in here, I suppose. I've run out of things to zap. Um, I know. Let's get some weeds, a couple of dandelions and some bits. Okay. Do you know this thing even stung me through these gloves? Right. Revenge on the stingy nettle. Can you see that? If I put that there, 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 over there somewhere. Right. I've got a couple of uh, my engineering parallels here. So there we go. I don't know if you can see that. Let's just bring the camera up a little bit. There. Right. Stinging it all. Let's see what you think of 4,200 volts. Here we go. This one here? This leaf? Oh look, Let me just turn the fan off a sec. I'm just touching that leaf. See the way it's drooping? Look at that. Cool, I might have invented something here. The way the leaf just... Whoa, didn't like that. I could build you one of these guys, just go around your garden with uh, 4,200 volts and kill all the weeds. Oh, that way it's keeling over. certainly and showed him what I thought. <laughs> well that was a stinging nettle. So I'm going to wait. Let's try one of these things. I don't know what they are. Some sort of some sort of thistle. Let's bring the camera down a little bit so you can see that. I'm not going to do spiders and insects because that would be like cruel. Not the way it just dies. Dead. You are dead. Okay. Well, I think I've run out of things to zap. Um, let me just take the, oops, wrong way, take the camera back out. So, um, thumbs up, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, hey guys, if you've got any ideas for something for me to zap, um, same setup in another video, uh, just let us know in the comments below, but like I said, keep it sensible. I don't want dogs, cats, rats, mice, uh, spiders, anything that's creepy crawly. What about a wood louse? No, 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 forget it. Just inanimate things, you know, like we've done today, but something different. Because I can't think of anything else to zap at the moment except plants, uh, sponges, uh, sound cards, etc. 
and if anybody knows locally in the Portsmouth area of anybody that's getting rid of um, some old microwave ovens, the older the better. The new ones aren't any good because they've got inverters in them. But I'm going to um, I maybe add perhaps one or two microwave transformers to my collection. Uh, that will give us um, 8,000 plus volts. Um, but I don't think I can go much more than 6,000 in here because of the uh, length of the arc. But anyway, oh, forgot to try the aluminium. Ah, maybe next time. Anyway, cheers for watching, guys. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And um, I'll catch you in my next zapping, electrifying video. Cheers, then. Bye. Thank you.